Over the last couple of years, we've been performing these uh, uh, new endoluminal uh, procedures, and they have definite benefits to the patients. Essentially, we are now able to perform uh, complex uh, gastrointestinal operations, which hitherto uh, could take several hours to perform, uh, whether it was laparoscopic or through an open uh, 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 approach, um, and would often necessitate a several day uh, uh, hospital stay. The uh, endoscopic uh, gastric pouch reduction surgery with Stomafix can now be done as an outpatient procedure. Typically takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Patient goes home the same day. And in the past, a similar operation could be a three to four to five hour case with significant blood loss and risk of complication. And it might necessitate a three to four to five day hospital admission. If you look at the uh, uh, Sofix device and transoral fundoplication for acid reflux, again, you've taken an open or laparoscopic uh, uh, procedure and converted it into a transoral uh, incision-free operation, which can be done uh, efficiently, it takes about an hour or so. Patients can either stay overnight in the hospital or even go home the same day. Um, and again, we are advancing uh, surgical uh, um, frontiers, moving from open to minimally invasive, now incision-free uh, natural orifice uh, uh, surgery. Um, and of course, India has been in the forefront of the development of natural orifice surgery. This is a 50-year-old female who underwent a gastric bypass surgery in 2006 at Beth Israel Medical Center. Her preoperative weight was 283 pounds and she did lose weight and got down to a point of 164 pounds about one and a half years after the surgery. However, she gradually put on weight over the next two or three years and now weighs approximately 190 pounds. Now, the patient is also con complaining of significant dumping syndrome with most types of food uh, and loss of the early satiety that was originally uh, felt with the gastric bypass. She has a past medical history consistent with asthma, Who's on, and she's on albuterol, Advair, and Singular. Uh, she has obstructive sleep apnea, but it's re, it has uh, resolved to a point that she's not on CPAP at this point in time. Uh, she had a preoperative upper GI series and the esophago uh, gastroduodenoscopy, which showed an enlarged uh, pouch and a wide open stoma. And therefore, she was scheduled for a, a stoma fix procedure. This is an endoscopic procedure, a natural orifice surgery, which is used to reduce the size of the pouch and uh, reduce the size of the anastomosis in an incisionless manner. As you can see, um, nobody's masked or gloved because as most endoscopic procedures, this is not a sterile procedure. As you can see, the device is about a 14 millimeter diameter tubular structure made out of a relatively pliable silicone. And as we're panning down, you'll eventually see the business end of the, uh, of the device, which is a tube with a side port that will uh, suck in the uh, gastric mucosa. And as the gastric mucosa enters the port, a, an H-shaped fastener will be driven through the gastric mucosa so that it will anchor it on both sides and create a type of a floret pattern, bringing the mucosa uh, more toward the center of the uh, lumen and uh, shrinking the gastric pouch. But we've done laparoscopic uh, visualization on our first few of these, and uh, the, the serosa of the stomach was uh, visualized and was undisturbed by the... Uh, by the staple. So yes, it is a more of a serosal bite. And they are permanent staples. They're 
uh, polypropylene uh, akin to uh, 3O proline in strength. The stoma is kind of, uh, you know, I mean, it is kind of rigid, and it's a little bit more difficult to uh, get that stoma to, uh, to invaginate into the um, into the side port of the device. You know, these are polypropylene uh, fasteners, so I, 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 I'm not aware of any <coughs> post stoma fix uh, revisions of the laparoscopic revisions of gastric pouches. So we'd like to thank uh, Ames and the organizers of uh, the Surgical Week at Ames for giving us this opportunity to introduce our endoluminal gastric pouch reduction surgery to our uh, colleagues uh, in India. Uh, we're very excited about the prospects of uh, um, coming over to India and uh, showing these uh, uh, techniques um, to you in the flesh, as it were, uh, at your own hospitals. Uh, in addition to the stoma fix device, which is a bariatric uh, device, uh, we are also developing programs uh, for endoluminal incision-free anti-reflux surgery. There's a device called the esophix, which allows us to perform a uh, transoral fundoplication for patients with moderate to severe acid reflux with or without a small hiatal hernia. And we think these are uh, very exciting technologies and um, very appropriate that um, we have the opportunity to show these uh, procedures to our colleagues in India, which uh, is already um, at the forefront, um, has been at the forefront for many years in terms of natural orifice surgery. Um, any questions, any comments, any uh, requests for more, more information, you can contact us via email, and our email address is endoasia at gmail.com. That's uh, endoasia at gmail.com. Dr. Hollow. Well, once again, we'd like to thank uh, your Surgical Society for having us over. Uh, we'd be only too happy to answer any questions via email, as Dr. Goodman said, and we look forward to working with you uh, collegially in the near future uh, in order to uh, expand and refine uh, the natural orifice surgeries, uh, which we're both interested in.